so your profile, increasing sales with the number one landing page. So how many of you all, how many of you all have your resume on your profile? Sort of? Sort of like you have like your job description, you have like where you, like where you worked previously, those kind of things, right? That's what we think LinkedIn profiles are, and they're not. That's not the case, okay? So for example, I found this guy, Brian Kraft. He works for Guardian Industries. I have nothing against them, FYI. But here's Brian's, this is Brian's profile. He's an architectural sales manager at Guardian Industries. And so what I want to do real quickly is I want to break down common misconceptions with the profile in a very simple formula that you and your salespeople should be thinking about to make sure that your, your actual profile brings in leads as well as makes you make sure your found ways lead. So this is what we call the high converting LinkedIn page framework. Starting with above the fold. So if I go to Brian's page, this is what I see on certain browsers above the fold. In other browsers, like depending on your, your resolution, this is what I see. Tell me why I should buy from Brian. I shouldn't. Here's the other thing. Oh, well, I'm probably on mobile. I even have less real estate here. He doesn't have a picture, doesn't have a photo. I know he works in, maybe he's in the greater Chicago area, which is, by the way, really important to be thinking about mobile, too. Whenever you're thinking about content, you're thinking about what we're doing, always be thinking about mobile at the same time. So we have to think about, first, above the fold, what is somebody seeing? Then the header image. This header image, they give you like a stock photo. We're all friends here. Who's got the stock photo? So this is usually a stock photo. The thing is, is like this is the area you have the most control over, like in terms of real estate, the size of the page. This is the area you have the most control over. And most, most of us like post a picture of like a building or like maybe us and like a work environment. Why not use this area to sell your value proposition or give value, okay? Here's a quick sizing you know, rule. You guys can create a template. If you need a template, let me know. I can get you one. We want to utilize this space to stand out. So for example here, I'm going to use my profile as an example. It's not the perfect profile, whatever. But you'll notice here, and this is really, really strategic. I have turn your online presence into your best salesperson, building materials, digital marketing. So I'm trying, I'm speaking to my audience. I'm saying this is the value we bring. And you'll notice I'm putting in the, in the top right corner, and this is important, because on mobile, they will shrink to the right. So when you're creating this, make sure that if you, if you end up following this methodology, you can't see I've got a little bit of picture in the background because of the resolution here. You'll notice that it will push to the right, and there's a certain breakoff point where you can still see it on mobile. Cool? So making sure you've got a nice template. Sorry, Joe, go ahead. They changed that this week. That's your fault. Oh, really? No, it's even easier for you. Look at that. They changed it this week. Thank you, Joey. <laughs> Keep your comments to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Uh, your header image, okay? And by the way, guys, this is a very simple checklist. So if you're thinking about things that you can give your sales team or other people, this takes no time at all to really build out. Your profile picture. Brian doesn't have any. Brian's getting picked on. It's 1080 by 1080. Smile, look forward, and be approachable. How many of you all see, like, photos of people that do, like, this right here? These are literal. These are, I found these online. I want this guy in my organization. He's having a good time, right? I want to do business with him. He's going to give me a killer deal. <laughs> Please don't do that. Please don't. I can't believe I have to put, the, you know, put this in the presentation, but you have to. You'd be surprised. Like, if you like, let some of your sales reps like, run rogue, they got a keg party in the background. Okay? I made, so full disclosure, I made, I made fun of somebody at an organization recently. And, they, and they're like, all right, I'll update my photo. And then they sent it back to me, and I looked at it. And it was like a picture of them like kissing their dog. And I was like, no, man, I'm sorry. That, like, that still won't work. <laughs> it still won't work. He didn't have a photo, and then he put a picture of him and his dog. Some people love their dogs. You should, but this shouldn't be in your photo. Profile picture, the headline. OK, so now we're going to break down. And this gets to copy. So as marketing, we love this stuff. And sales are like, does it matter? Trust me, it matters. Headline. So this is, the, this is Brian's headline. It's architectural sales manager at Guardian Industries. He thinks that that is his title, so that should be his headline. This should be in his headline, but it shouldn't be the only thing in his headline. So most people use, I'm a sales rep at XYZ. Again, we, you know, this will be a common theme today. Nobody cares about you. They don't. Nobody cares about me. They only care about themselves, right? Until they can figure out what value you can give them. Instead of telling people what, who you are, use this space to communicate how you can help or who you can help. What experience do you have? And I like to say like the five second test, that, that fourth bullet point. What's quickly tell me what I can do to help. If you can't understand in five seconds, then you gotta, you gotta change it. 
So this is, it plays a massive role because it's the thing that you see in, in search results. It's the very first thing you're looking at. It's the largest piece of text besides maybe your image. Use that. So here's a quick framework we use. You can create your own, but it's like we help, whoever you help, architects, builders, the construction industry, achieve, grow, whatever verb you want. The end result, we're working with you. Save time, save money. And by the way, this is also in your handout too. So if you're feverishly writing it, it's okay. And I actually will include a download to this later. How do you achieve that at your position? So very quick value prop. I need to know, are you for me or are you just some spammer, right? Like you ever get those emails like, hey, I work with business people to help them with capital. Like I get, I get these emails all the time. I help businesses with HR. I'm not paying attention. But if it was like, hey, I help agencies that, that are in the digital space with HR solutions, I may listen because that's the space I work in. Cool? <clears throat> the next, so here's the framework we have. So we, have, we help, and here's my example. We turn building material manufacturers online presence into their best salesperson through smarter marketing. Who do we help? Building materials manufacturers. Result, online presence, best salesperson. How do we do that? Smarter marketing. Um, Joey can correct me if I'm wrong on this too. Um, but I think on desktop, they only give you 140 characters to play with for this headline. On mobile, you have twice as many. I don't know if it's a bug. I don't know why. But you have twice as much space on mobile. And if they fix that bug, I'll be upset. Um, but you'll notice that like, that's why I have more space than 140 characters, because you can update it through the mobile app. Cool? Headline, and then the summary. This is the, this is the part that typically takes the longest. There's a really simple framework I'm going to walk through quickly. And then again, this is something we'll do this afternoon. So summary, this is where I like to see the magic happens, because what happens here is they go, OK, I see you're a nice guy. You're, you're not at a cake party. You've got a nice headline. I see you can help me. Once you've piqued their interest, this is where you can begin to help. So he doesn't have a description, and there's Brian doesn't. He just has hi highlights, so he needs to work on that. So this is where what we have. So you see I have a little video here, but you'll notice the way we break this down is like it's very much funnel copy. So if you're familiar with like marketing and sales copy, that's very much how it is. So we start with a call out. Who do you serve? What's the end result? Essentially, who are you? You're just expounding upon this headline sentence. So this should lead very nicely into this. And then you walk them through pain points. Help them understand that you know the problems that they're dealing with, not that you're just trying to sell them another product. They're not looking for another product. They're looking for a solution. So this means like let them know that you feel the pain of the moment that they're dealing with. So if you help, if you've got a siding product, hey, we work with contractors to help them sell more siding and get it done more quickly and make more money. And then you go into detail, ask two or three questions. Is this you? Is this you? Is this you? Do you deal with this problem? Give that empathy and authority. Show some understanding for those pain points and why you know it hurts. You've got to tell them you know it hurts. Authority. And then what's the end result if they work with you? How are you going to help them? What's different? I walked into a trade show recently. And um, it was actually, I think it was, uh, it might have been last year's Deck Expo. And I like, went up to one railing company and went to another railing company. I said, hey, what's the difference between your railing company and that railing company? And he's like, well, we stand for honesty, integrity, and results. And I was like, everybody can say that, right? Tell me what you really do that's different. And if you don't have something, you need to develop something, OK? And the qualifier, this is really good. So from a sales standpoint, a qualifier meaning like, who are you not good for? If you're good for everybody, you're good for nobody. And then call to action. What do you want them to do? What, what action do you want them to take? So I lay out for you mine here. I'm not going to read this to you word for word. I don't want to bore you. You guys are here. You guys know what we do. But I'm, I give this to you in, and there's actually a download we'll give you um, that you can just copy this and literally tweak it. Like we have clients that like literally just take and they write over digital marketing and they'll write like XYZ product or industry, whatever. It's a very simple framework. So call out, walk them through pain points, empathy and authority, what's the end result, the qualifier. And look, I list my email and my phone number. If, if someone can't read your profile and then realize why they didn't have a conversation with you, you need to think about your profile. OK? Cool. Any questions on this? One last little tip here, and this is for search results, meaning like if I'm a CEO and I'm looking for something, make sure you have your sales team. And this is something as organizations we don't like to do because we're like, we don't want to lose our people. Really help them optimize their job descriptions. Think about what an architect may be searching for and help them actually optimize these because this is actually one of the biggest ranking factors 
in their algorithm.